So here is a spark gap charging method here using a Tesla coil set up in reverse basically. So the spark gap pulses into the Tesla coil. The Tesla coil being the high impedance side is the primary and here the secondary being the lower impedance flat coil going into a regular rectifier and a capacitor and we get about 60 volts DC here that floats onto the capacitor from the secondary side and this is a high voltage generator basically a flyback module which generates our spark gap and very very low voltage usage so this is only um, uh, is a, it's 6. Point, I have a hard time seeing 6.3 volts DC here so very low voltage here and relatively low current as well we can do with a battery I'm going to show you that but it's easier for now in here. So we're going to plug this in. You're going to hear the spark gap. And those are the two uh, magnets here in between the gap here. And here's the meter. And when we take a reading here, Just trying to get it. This is plus here. Hold the camera while see now. See that's the voltage in DC. So about sixty. So we can use this to charge batteries very low input and I'm going to charge this battery here with it okay so now I'm going to do that thing that John does when he puts in the battery and he gets the spark you see hold on see that that's the um, capacitor discharge and we're doing this with very very little input current so now I'm going to actually plug this in and we're charging the battery now and I'm going to plug in the meter here back into the negative side and here's what we're getting here we're at 12.0 the battery is pretty well dead at this point so it's going to charge up It's going to take a while, but it's connected. Maybe I should change the. There we go. It's easier to see this way. So we have two minutes and the voltage is slowly rising so Tesla coil in reverse this is another way of using very very little current to charge a battery and it'll end up being very good Eleven point nine nine, so twelve volts. So 
So about three minutes now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect the power to show you that I don't even need the mains to do this. Just a little 1.5 volts at the input here where the power would go. Now I messed up the gap here, unfortunately. Should have held these together. It's so hard to do it all one hand, but I'll try. There we go. So we're back in action now. It's only this little 1.5 volt battery. And we're doing the same thing here. We're at 12.01 now. So you don't even need the power plug. Just a 1.5 volt battery here. We'll maintain our spark gap for a while. An hour or so anyways. And we get to build up a pretty charge and use much more output in the battery. Tesla coil in reverse. So I'm not plugged in right now, I'm just using the 1.5 volt and it's stepping it up. 12.12. So just giving you an example here. So I'm going to plug it back in because I want the battery to charge overnight basically. So now it's plugged back in. So we're no longer using the battery. Twelve point oh two. All right. I hope this is useful to you folks. Interesting, anyways.